It's Stephanie at eFoodDehydrator.com. And today I'm slicing up some beautiful sweet potato. And this is the first time that I've used this awesome slicer. Usually I use my mandolin slicer, but I went out and invested in a nine inch vegetable or meat slicer. In my case, I'm going to use it for vegetables. And this is what we're dehydrating, sweet potatoes. I'm going to have a get together this weekend and um, I'm going to have some dips out and these are going to be sweet potato chips kind of on a healthy kick and sweet potato are full of healthy nutrients that your body needs. Now I'm going to do some that are peeled like these and then I'm going to do some that are unpeeled because I always think most of the nutrients come from the skin but I peel these and we're using our new handy dandy electric slicer and uh, I, I love it already. This is how thin the slices could come out and even thinner because there's an adjustable nozzle here to control thickness. And this is what I'll do. Mm. Let's shut that off. And look at how yummy these look. These are going to be delicious. I'll sprinkle some with some sea salt and maybe some with uh, some Simply Organic Cinnamon, and these will be yummy for my party. I'll come back with the results. And if you have any questions on sweet potatoes or really mostly any fruits and veggies, I'd be happy to help. See you soon. Thank you. different shape there that was interesting especially with my uh, get-together here I love the thickness tell you I, I really love this slicer and we sell them on our website and it's the nine inch stainless steel the blade is stainless steel and uh, it is quality through and through with a five-year warranty so if you have any questions on it uh, don't hesitate but I'll keep uh, stacking these and uh, maybe this next batch we'll put we'll put a little sea salt on there let me go get it <clears throat> this is the kind of sea salt we use and it's the real food trading company and it's the Himalayan pink sea salt which my mother-in-law always recommended and we bought for years now thank you Roberta just laying these these are the ones with the skin on there um, did uh, maybe two trays of the ones with skin and uh, three trays without I don't like mine to overlap. I think uh, that's why most of my fruits and veggies are crisp. And then what I'll do, I'll just put a little sea salt on there. It's got a lot of vitamins and nutrients. It's not like the table salt. Use really good quality salt and it'll last you and it's actually good for you too. So we'll put those in our next slot. See, I tell you, when I'm in dehydration mode, I really can, uh, I could fill up two or three dehydrators. So once you get going, you just uh, don't want to stop. So if my husband's listening, <laughs> I think uh, it's going to be time, especially with uh, spring coming in. There's some bigger chunks here too. I could have cut them down, but I wanted to experiment, see how they come out after, after they dehydrate. Look at that nice, that's a nice chip. So it'll shrink down, but it'll it'll be nice and crisp. I think these will be yummy. You can use your mandolin slicer, but I started out with my mandolin and uh, just didn't cut like this unit. 
really for for $150, it's, it's not a bad investment to go out and get yourself a slice. So you'll use it all the time. I know you will. And there's different sizes. This is another one with um, some skin. Wanted to see how they come out and see people's reaction after they try it. Because uh, the kids are going camping this weekend. So we'll get these. And we'll really try because we don't have that many more to go. So I really like to try to fit in as many as possible. So it's noon right now. We'll try back. We'll try back in a little while to see how they're going and uh, let you know how long this takes. And I, these will get a little cinnamon. And I highly recommend using the nonstick drying sheets because they're so easy to flip over and uh, they're washable and you can use them really literally tons of times. I've had this one that I'm using for about five years now. And there you go. We'll be back soon. Get yourself some of the good stuff, simply organic cinnamon too. Hi, it's Stephanie at Eat Food Dehydrator, and I'm here to dehydrate squash. I'm using my handy slicer, which I love. Not too loud, but it will cut down your chore by a huge percentage. I've already gotten through three full squash, and it's only been about five minutes. Stops. And this is how they look, which I love the thickness. I'll keep some plain. I'll put um, some of our sea salt and uh, maybe even a little cayenne pepper. That would be tasty. And we'll keep going with the squash and we'll be back. Thanks. Hi, it's Stephanie at eFoodDehydrator.com. And here, we're here to dehydrate zucchini. And we're going to use this awesome slicer, as I've showed you in my other videos. And I just wanted to show you how cool zucchini looks before it's dehydrated, while it's dehydrated, and then once it's dehydrated. And I'm Stephanie at eFoodDehydrator.com. If you have any questions on this or really any other fruits and veggies, I'd be happy to help you. Here we go. the thickness but I'm keeping it on the same one and I'll show you how great they look. Sliced up zucchini. We're going to use these for dips and I'm going to send them um, the camping guys with some dried zucchini. That's a very nice thickness. It's uh, under a quarter inch. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I usually use my mandolin, which I also love, but this makes it really easy. Quick, easy, and you can change the thickness. zucchini okay and I'll be back with our sweet potatoes our zucchini and our squash thanks for watching
You okay, hon? Take a drink of water. Wow, these are going to be good. You want to see, Marco? Oh, hey, come on in. Hi. Hey, come on in. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing good. We got Markham's here today. Oh. <laughs> He's not feeling so good. Smokey's like, hey. Hi, Smokey. <laughs> and I'm dehydrating sweet potatoes, zucchini, yes. and squash. Yummy. Uh -huh. I want him to dunk for this weekend. <laughs> and Ed and the kids are going, well, Ed's going away on a camping trip, so I want him to have one to share. Are you going to have your party tomorrow? Oh, Saturday. Saturday. Yes. Oh, Saturday. Yes. That's yeah. sweet. I'm excited. Yeah. Very. But, um, you said you come at four? Yeah, whatever. It starts at five. Feel free to come anytime, okay. really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, so I'm not going to sweat it today. Actually, if you can, I've been putting boxes and stuff like their toys just to kind of conceal them up in this extra room. Okay. If after at the end. Okay. Yeah, we can. Great. I've been doing it myself just to thin it out, but really, you know, well, she was done. It was still. But I went to, uh, actually, the woman that does, that runs it there, you know, she's so sweet. Yeah, Isn't she? She's very nice. Yeah, she's a talker. She yeah. Good oh my stuff. Yeah. I had my book there, and uh, she's very nice. She keeps the place nice and clean. I really like it there. Yeah, they yeah. still haven't contacted me about the, the font she's going to I'm sure they can. Oh, oh. oh, she named it for someone else to deal with? Yeah, yeah, yeah the so owner. Oh. She's not the owner. Right. right. Oh. So even if it's just... a computer for Christmas so I've been using the webcam and it's so neat nice. so I've been using uh, the new slicer cool. and it worked out great but I did it in a video form that way people like them and this is the first time first time I've ever done sweet potato so I'm, kind, I'm kind of excited about it some have cinnamon no no get down some have cinnamon some are plain oh. and uh, then I, I did one set with uh, with the skin on and then the other with it off uh -huh. and then different wouldn't this kind of be neat to dip in yes. there? Yes. Yeah. And that was this one, two, three, four, five, six. That was three sweet potatoes. What do they usually give you? When you give sweet potato fries, I'm trying to think what mm. they usually give you. I think it's cinnamon and is it is it vinegar? I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I thought but, it was like a like a like a honey raspberry mm. something. Oh, oh, that would be neat. Yeah. Hmm. I've never done this before, so this yeah. is. I'm trying to think what they give you to dip your sweet potato fries in if you order yeah. sweet potato fries. I don't think I've ever ordered them, but see, there's different sizes for these too, which I thought were kind of cool because they'll shrink up. Oh, you know, really? this will shrink down like. Yeah. That's probably, cool. you know, oh, it's. Some, I did um, some apples. 
Nice. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. I did more videos on it, and now I'm not doing the camera. I don't want it to be about me. It's about the food. food. Yeah. And, I mean, that's why I do this. But I also, I like to do the multi-videos because I've never done one for sweet potatoes, but we've done zucchini and squash, you know, yeah. each separate. So I feel like the more can advertising, you, the better. Once you dehydrate it, can you use it in a soup later? Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, no. oh yeah. It'll regain that's its... Definitely. That's See, I don't really like cool. stacking them up, but I don't know what to do. I have all these left over. You know, my thought is sweet potatoes are hugely good for you. And yeah. so, it, but I don't, I put this, actually I showed people that this is the kind, Bet's Roberto so. would say, oh, if you want to get the best, this is it. So I bought, we got a couple bins in there. It's not that expensive actually. Yeah, yeah. And it's filled with such good nutrients and yeah. vitamins and magnesium. So I want to show people that you can use these different herbs and spices just to Flavor mix it up. It, right. But I want to do some with cayenne pepper. I thought that would be fun. Yeah, because they make like they make potato chips with like pe yes. Pepper but this and is all this isn't chips. processed. It's not deep fried. This is dehydrated. Oh, right. Where because it's not baked above, I put it well for veggies. I put it 125, but. It, Anything above 150 kills the enzymes in the food. Oh. So I keep it to like 125, 130. That way... You still have the enzymes. Exactly. And what do the enzymes do for you? Well, that makes you... I mean, especially the enzymes that are found in fruits and vegetables. They're antioxidant. Um, they kill bad flora in your system. Oh. Yeah, it's... Yeah, cool. And what I like to do is I have a members-only club for people about food dehydrating as blogs and... Just a bunch of, we have about 17,000 people in there. Oh and so what I'll do is I'll do a research on all the different veggies and what kind of nutrients they bring to you. Yeah. And then I test them on the kids, how they like it. Yeah. If, yeah. if anybody... Oh, yeah, they, thinks, he's already had dried apples today, wanted more. I think so. He's really... I think he had I, I sent him back yesterday. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I just thought I felt bad sending Jackson. Oop. Hi, it's Stephanie at eFoodDehydrator.com, and we're back with our sweet potato crisps after they've been dehydrated for about nine hours or so. I flip them over. I think that's the key to crunchiness. Here's the squash, and here's our zucchini. They really turned out great. Nice, light, and crisp. Perfect for dunking. And uh, perfect for snacking, too. This is the, the zucchini. These were about a quarter inch sliced. And I use them on my slicer. But look at how beautiful they look. These are the ones with the skins, the sweet potatoes with the skins on them. And they are so delicious. And I put a little bit of um, cinnamon on there. You can try different spices, too. You know, learn more about dehydrating, what works for your family. And if you check us out at our site, eFoodDehydrator.com, you'll find um, the benefits of sweet potatoes, the different nutrients and vitamins that they have in them, and also squash and zucchini. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give me an email at Stephanie at eFoodDehydrator.com. And go get yourself some yummy fruits and veggies to dehydrate today. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.